And the final talk was a, a panel discussion, the unusual subjects, uh, suspects, excuse me, what is going on in Europe's so-called uh, civic deserts. And I'm afraid I don't have any updates on this one, but we will uh, mention this in the next round. So let's please welcome our guests here, the spotlight on citizen ed citizenship education in action. And to kick off with the first pitch, I'd like to welcome, please, Povel Henningsen, the Tuesday Conversation. New Europeans is a civil rights organization which champions freedom of movement, non-discrimination, and the principle of solidarity in Europe. Povel, are you with us? I am with you. Can you hear me? I can indeed. Wonderful to have you here. Thanks for coming. And thanks then, for letting me participate. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Pavel, in fact, I'm going to hand over to you. I uh, will give you a short countdown, a three, two, over to you, and then please feel free to begin your pitch. So, three, two, over to you. Thank you. I'd like to talk uh, two and a half minutes about the Tuesday conversation, which is a tool, a democratic tool that uh, should bring Europeans closer to each other. Every Tuesday evening, we meet online on a subject that is of importance. You see from the screen, last Tuesday, the topic was health. Does an apple a day keep the doctor away? We have a, a star speaker. This was Sasha Marchand from the European Public Health Authority. And uh, we were talk then having four or five other people on screen for a conversation. This was uh, live streamed on Facebook. So it is an attempt to bring Europeans closer to each other via good conversation. Let me show you another slide. This is how we live our lives now. We sit on screen and everybody knows that this is difficult. We prefer to be face to face, but uh, now we have to make a conversation online. This gives us quite a few challenges individually and collectively. It's also an opportunity, I think, because we can bring people together faster and easier than ever before. And we can bring people together from all corners of the world. So we'll see how we make the new mix of online and face-to-face. -face. That's exciting. Another slide is, uh, this is what it looks like when people meet face-to-face. -face. It's uh, This is a, from an event where I, I had 50 people in a local community gathered around coffee and cake. They didn't know each other in advance. So how do you get people who don't know each other in advance, how do you get them to talk together? Well, the trick is generous amounts of coffee and cake. So that was uh, that's a tool. And I think uh, uh, basically when you want people to speak to each other, you need to invent new ways of uh, tricking people to lower their barriers. Uh, this, this slide shows uh, my wife's tennis group. And I think democracy happens uh, not, all, not everywhere, really, where people meet. You meet around an interest and something that that uh, that you take an interest in and then you talk afterwards so this is my focus group uh where if it if the if a subject is interesting i check it out with my wife's tennis group final slide i think we must reinvent the way we meet both virtual and face to face it is crucial if we want to inspire engage and motivate each other to take an interest in uh, democracy thank you for watching my little slide two and a half minute slideshow. Thank you so much, Pavel. That was just a wonderful kickoff to real citizenship education in action.